Hey guys, and welcome back to Clanad. So, uh, let's just jump right back in. Sunohara grabs his bag and went out of the room. Hey, are you not coming? He came back. It's too much trouble. You want to see it too, right? Not really. Don't say that! Help me here! I don't want to carry around a TV and a VCR. And don't always ask for my help. Alright. I understand. I won't show it to you once I'm done! He ran away, just like a kid. Whew. Well then, I guess I'll go now. The meeting place is the same as yesterday's, and once again, Katomi comes ahead of me. Tomoya-kun, konnichiwa. Tomoya-kun, good afternoon. Were you waiting for me? Mm -hmm. No. As I thought, she seems a bit tense. I start thinking of who I'll have her meet. Let's start with... her. Kyo's face come to mind, or comes to mind as I say that. I feel... Uh, I feel that we'll have a really heavy competition from the beginning. But even though Kyo looks the way she does, she's good at taking care of people. If I can just get her on board, I have a feeling things will progress in tempo. I peep inside... Oh, hello, update thing. <laughs> I peep inside the E3... Or three... Oh my god. So many fucking update shit. Go away. All I did was restart my computer. Now fuck off. <laughs> I peep inside the 3E classroom. Kyo, got a minute? When I call her, she takes along her bag and comes out into the hallway. Seems like ter or seems something terrible happened. If you had just kept an eye on Botan, that thing wouldn't have happened. That disaster would come in our class if I did, though. Well, where did he go? He just left the room, just like that. Is it alright not to search for him? It's alright, since it's my pet. That's why you should worry. Well, what do you want? I have a little favor to ask. Heh, <laughs> this is unusual. You asking me a favor? That's right, it's usually the opposite. Opposite? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not really asking for a favor, you know. Oh, I just like to order you around. She might have mistaken me for a, fo or for a follower. Nope, she is mistaken. Anyway, who is she? She points towards Katomi, who's hiding behind my back. Will she bully me? Will she bully me? She looks all flustered. Calm down. She won't bully you, all right? I say that, making sure she understands. Try and say your greetings first. Tomoya-kun, good afternoon. Alright, you're doing good. Next is the performance. I forcibly push her in front of Kyo, who's taken aback. <sighs> Katomi is frightened as Kyo looks at her. I think she's 100 times more tense than when I or when she introduced herself to Furukawa. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. She bows her head like a spring and points at herself awkwardly. Three syllables. Kotomi. Call me Kotomi-chan. A bully? She's about to cry. Uh, well... Just as I expected, even Kyo is having a hard time with her words. This is just her normal behavior. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, what is this exactly? 
Yeah, I came here to discuss her. Katomi hides behind my back as I say that. She's Ichinose Katomi, an acquaintance of mine. Hmm? That name sounds familiar. She leans her head and ponders. Hey, isn't she the genius girl who scored in the top ten on the national exam? Why are you acquainted with her? There's no need for you to... to uh, there's no need to tell you why. <sighs> she sure looks like a healthy, low-level brain child like you. Who are you calling a low-level brain child? Is she bullying us? Is she bullying us? You there, you don't need to be frightened. Katomi bravely nods. Well, what do you want me to do? How do I say this? You're somehow an associate of hers, right? So, what I'm saying is, I'm thinking... Why don't you be friends with her? What's this? Are you a parent taking his child to a park for the first time? Yeah, it feels like that. Actually, she glances at Katomi. Oh. A bully? A bully? You there! Stop looking like you're about to cry. Oh! <sighs> Amazed at the scene, she turned towards me again. She has some friends in her class too, right? She doesn't have any, that's why I'm asking you. I turn my head to the unconcerned Katomi. Katomi's teary eyes are carefully watching us back and forth. Perhaps she's seen something really scary. Uh, she belongs to Class A, if I'm not mistaken. That class sure has a gloomy atmosphere. Well, please? Though you're asking honestly, I'm a little troubled. Don't say such cold-hearted things. I'm not being cold-hearted. You're asking me to be her friend. Don't you think there's something wrong there? Uh... First of all, a friend isn't something you give. It's something you make. Well, I don't care if we pretend to get along on the outside, though. It sounds like she's offended, so I can't object. Later, then, I have some things to do. Her long hair flutters magnificently as she turns her back after saying her piece. Oh, that's right! She suddenly turns around as if she remembered something. Then, she looks back... Or she looks at Katomi. I'm Kyo. See you later, then. She turns her back to us, waves her hand, and smiles as she runs down the hallway. Friend? That's how it is, right? We look at her fading back for a while. Oh, poor Katomi. I love her. <laughs> In the end, I couldn't say we were successful in making a friend. Well, things like this happen too. Ugh, so many updates. Shut up. <laughs> I smile at Katomi as we walk on the hill road. She returns a small one. Her childish hair dances as we walk unsteadily. Are you tired? Just a little. She says as if it's a murmur. Sorry, Katomi. Most of my friends are weird. No. Ah! Stupid fucking updates! I fucking hate them! Go away! Shut up! Fuck you! <laughs> Every one of them is nice. 
I think I'm making her do an unreasonable thing. I watch her profile for a while. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> I like how that went. Oh my god, I can't get over that now. Anyways. If you only look at her, you'll think that she's a bit mysterious because she's so quiet. I tried to think about today's Katomi. To put it simply, she's as shy as a kindergartner. I wonder which is the true Katomi. I can't say for sure, but I have a hunch that it would be different. I also have a hunch that no one has yet seen the true Katomi, who's always inside herself. I wonder if I'm the only one who feels that. It's just that the first time I met Katomi, uh, how do I say it? She was more... Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry. And might I just say that that picture of Katomi is so cute. God, she's such a pretty girl. I'm just fascinated by you. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> well, both of us stay silent. Oh. Then we arrive at the school's dormitory. I'll be fine here. Do you have things to do? Mm-hmm. She doesn't say where she's going and just leaves me with those vague words. I'm sure that it's something I still don't know. Well then, take care. I give her her bag, or I give her bag back to her. Whoops. <laughs> and she holds it tightly with her slender fingers. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow too. I watch her fading back. I hope tomorrow will go well. I also begin to slowly walk off. We haven't been to Sunahara's uh, dorm in like a really long time, it seems. But I guess that's okay. Alright, so April 23rd. It's about to turn 10 o'clock. If I continue walking at this rate, I'll arrive by third period. The seat beh or beside me is empty as usual. I put down my bag and take my seat. After that, there's nothing to do except stare out the window. And class time. Recess. You a ghost! The two people in front of my seat are looking over a reference book while talking. Ah, yeah, it seems there are students who have seen her, the ghost of a female student. Really? It was some boring topic, though I don't want to listen, I can still hear them. Someone who knows about, or who knows something about her said she's definitely a ghost. Are you serious? Yeah, actually that girl? She was in a traffic accident two years ago. She's been in the hospital for so long, but it seems like no one can save her. She was just about to uh, start attending school when she got into that accident. Unable to truly enjoy high school life, she'd become attached to this place. And she turned into a or into the ghost who comes here to play. It's quite a sad story. But wouldn't it mean that? Hmm? The person who knew about the story is also a third year, right? Yeah. In other words, it's got to be that. Gotta be what? They're trying to use our interest in the supernatural to divert us from our studies. <laughs> in other words, they're trying to reduce their rivals. Hmm. That's definitely possible. It would be best not to take it seriously. Uh, you might be right. 
But the rumor seems to be genuine. If a TV station comes for a scoop, it could be a big uproar. No way it could. I wonder what Sunahara would do if he heard this story. He'd probably say, Let's go check it out quickly since it seems interesting, and then pull me along. I look at the empty seat beside me. Good thing he's not here. Besides, there are no such things as ghosts. The lesson starts and the bell rings. Well then, I guess I should go now. At the same moment I stand up, someone from behind me suddenly holds my shoulder. Hmm, where are you going, Okazaki? As I turn my head, I see the teacher with a forced smile just behind me. It seems you're planning to leave fourth period lesson, huh? I'll make you attend my class from beginning to end today. Be prepared. Well, though you say prepare myself. Don't argue anymore. Just stay there. Look at me and stay there. I'm counting on you, so stay there. No matter what happens, stay there. He makes me sit in the chair using his great strength. Understand? Just stay there until the lesson is over. Satisfied, he walks up to the platform. <laughs> wow, what a mean teacher. It can't be helped. I guess I'll pretend that I am honestly studying. I guess it's about time. Thirty minutes have passed since I started behaving. The teacher is really enthusiastic about giving lessons. But he's also obviously looking around as he writes in front of the blackboard. Ugh, I almost burped. Sorry, guys. Even if I sneak out, he'll immediately spot me. He's confining us here without hesitation. I stand up, pushing my or pushing back my chair, and I walk silently towards the door, acting calm and natural. The teacher and everyone inside are looking straight at me. Okazaki, where do you think you're going? Though he has noticed me, it's already too late. I have a sp I have a splitting headache, so I'm going to the nurse's office. I jump into the hallway without delay. Stop talking nonsense! Wait! This isn't nonsense! My head hurts at least. But I'm not going to the nurse's office. My destination is, of course, the bread vendor. I head off to the first floor and turn a corner in the hallway. The bakery is now open and I'm right on time. Some bread, old lady. Oh, yeah, ma. Oh my, isn't this your third day? She asks me with an amazed face. I'm a smart person, that's why I'm exempted from class. Oh dear, is that so? That's amazing then. Actually, I was lying. Sorry. Eat a lot and then study hard this afternoon. That's what I'll do. Aw, oh, Tomoya, you're so mean. <laughs> Let's all eat. Let's eat. Then we start our meal. Today's menu contains purely Japanese-style dishes. Fried rice, fish teriyaki, spinach dressed in sesame seeds, thickly sliced egg. Katomi is staring at me as I eat, as usual. I put down the chopsticks. Is it delicious? I might have overcooked the fish, so I'm worried. Nope, it was really delicious. Looking at the piece from Katomi's food that was already cut, I put it straight into my mouth. What kind of fish is this? I bought it cheap from a neighbor of mine who sells fish. Her eyes brighten up as she says so. He told me it was all right as he recommended it to me. I ended up buying it. Hmm, it's a win then. 
I think we're almost discussing something that newlywed couples would talk about. And I just realized that I am all out of time for this episode, guys. So, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.